Well, on tonight's edition of Ask Ellen, Bill wants to know, will we actually be able to see a parade of planets in the sky? This is a great question. Sometimes you hear about these big parade of planet events, and then you go outside and you're like, I don't really see what everybody's talking about. So, wanted to break down this particular parade of planets and show you what to expect. Here's some of the biggest takeaways. Know that with this particular parade of planets, they're not going to be all in a line. This is more of a planetary array, and you kind of have to look in several different directions in the sky to spot the planets. So, if you're expecting a line of planets, that's not what we're going to be seeing in the nighttime sky. Only three will be visible to the naked eye. So it's not gonna be the five that you can really see if you're just stepping outside. If you have binoculars or better equipment, you might be able to get a few more planets into view, but it's three big ones that you're most likely going to be able to see as we work through February. Finally, planet position will change as you go through the month. So I'm gonna show you where the planets are right around now, but just know that these will be shifting as we work into February. So if we are focusing on the south, the southern sky, and you look straight up high, that should be Jupiter. Off to the west, we'll see Venus, that will be the brightest, and off to the east, you'll likely see Mars. The cloud future cast as we go into Wednesday night to Thursday morning is looking really good for this. So if you're hoping to spot this planetary spectrum, that's looking like your best bet. Even better, it looks like our moon illumination is going to be at zero percent.